Right, so in this week's Bunkai Strategies clip, what we're going to have a look at is um, the Kagezuki, or short hook punch that we see. The first time we might experience it would be in Hiangogo, where having done this, we come up and stand up like this. Um, and then we also find it when we investigate the uh, Teki Kata, and then further on into Gion. And in that case, it's, um, it's performed uh, a, a lot lower sitting down in the horse riding stance, or even from the Manjigamai as a pull and push response. So the, the, the move is quite common, and when we see people trying to execute it, you know, as a, a punch, then sometimes you're not going to get um, your best results in that, and the, the, you're not going to get your best power delivery for a shot. Wouldn't it be much easier for me, for me to just corkscrew this in by pushing the hip into it and turning it into a, a front stance type shot? So for talking about power delivery, it, it might be a little bit limited. Let's have a look at the other kind of applications that we, we normally do for that. So you, you'll have already seen, if you check out the web, check out the past editions of, of these videos, um, how we'll use it with, um, say, a straight punch coming in here, and we're going to clear off to here, and then apply it this way, back with the elbow. Um, you'll also see us doing it with the hook, where we come in here like this, and then we come off over here like this, and we set it like that. Um, the issue with that, a lot of the time, is that <laughs> I'm huge, and training partners aren't. So you go, well, how do you get your, your arm around the back of their neck? And the answer is, we can always use a little bit of foot stomping to bring people down. So that, that's not quite such a big issue as people think it is. However, what we want to do today is just present another application to that move. And it's going back to an old idea, which is stop looking at what we think the surface of the technique is and look at the other parts of it. So in this situation, what we're dealing with is that we're in here like this, and I'm playing the role of the attacker now. And I throw in the big right hook, which Tasha just blocks and pulls back to her hip. And as she does that, you can see that this just presents the neck. So she takes her forearm and just rams it forwards, and have a look, it looks just like making a kagezuki. So she stood there with a kagezuki out in front. And instead of it being this surface that's doing the damage, it's this. Now the key to that is always going to be anchoring down here. Because if she doesn't anchor, and she pushes, just take four and push it into my neck, then that, that doesn't really do anything. And in fact, if I get stubborn about it, then she's not going to get anywhere with it. So in order to, uh, to, to get any kind of effect on that, she needs to anchor that right down there, and then she can push into here. And you can see whether she stands up or whether she drops down in stance, that becomes something that's much, much harder for me to deal with. And the anchoring is the key. Um, just on that subject, we'll also say that the crossbody anchor is um, a very, very useful technique as well. So if instead of this, if she takes it over to the opposite side, and then pulls it out here, we've got the opposite Kagezuki with a, a crossbody anchor.